Over to Lorenzo Fioramonti. He's an independent politician elected to the Italian parliament. So the sense that is very widespread, and it's not just among the more right-wing movements, but also among many of those that support the current government, there's a sense that we do need an indication of a shared responsibility. So we call them corona bonds. Someone else talks about a recovery fund. It doesn't really matter, as long as there's a sense that we're in this together. Because there have been proposals talking about the European Commission issuing debt to fund a recovery. Would that be okay for the Italians? Would they see that as an act of solidarity? Is that enough? The instrument that would make Italians to accept it as a significant step forward will require the idea of a shared responsibility. And if there's debt to be made, it's going to be shared debt, whether it's the European Commission creating its own debt, whether it's all of us together, whether it's another institution that needs to be created, whether it's the European Central Bank also saying, you know what, we're going to buy more debt and never expect you to pay it back. These are all forms of a shared responsibility that may work one way or another. How is this all playing out in Italian politics? Because uh, Matteo Salvini of the Lega has been drumming up a lot of Euro scepticism in Italy on the back of what was perceived to be a lack of solidarity from the EU. If a recovery fund is what is tabled, will that take the fire out of his campaign against the EU? Well, I feel that um, the extreme right will try in all possible ways to discredit the European Union's action. So it is really crucial how this message is sent. And if it's packaged as a minimum common denominator, if it's packaged as Italy being defeated to a certain extent, I think that would certainly play in the hands of the right wing extremists. As any sense that this money that gets raised or the recovery fund comes with conditions in terms of how it's spent and more austerity or anything like that, that would not be acceptable for Italians. That would be dramatic. You know, there are two words that should never be pronounced as far as I think Italians are concerned. These two words are conditions and austerity. Let's say that the recovery fund is one that Italy can only access with conditions. There's been so much talk about the Italy wanting to leave the EU in those kind of conditions. And certainly some political parties want to make the most of that. But I mean, how realistic is that? You know, we saw with Greece and the crisis there, how difficult it is to leave the euro. And also, I'm thinking of all the Italians who've made the most of freedom of movement in the EU. The generation of young Italians in particular who are spread out across Europe. It would be devastating for Italy. It couldn't afford to leave. Believe me, I've never seen such a level of your skepticism growing so fast across the Italian population. So I wouldn't be surprised if, with the case of a pandemic in which movement is restrained anyway, so we're not going to be able to probably cross borders the way we did it up until a few months ago. So some people are going to start wondering, okay, well, if I cannot move anymore anyway, on top of that, I have to respect conditionalities that even impair my own ability to deal with my crisis so what's in it for me? And at a moment like this, with an existential crisis of this magnitude, I think it would be a disaster for the European Union not to change this narrative and to show that we want to be together because together we can stand and weather any storm and challenge. What would you, as an Italian politician, say to the leaders going in from the Netherlands, from Germany, who've been very sceptical about any mutualization of EU debt to help Italy and other southern European states? What would you want to say to them? If you're going to be operating only in terms of your immediate national interest, you may end up with the worst case scenario. A broken Europe in which none of the countries will have an advantage anymore and perhaps a prolonged depression may become the status quo in our continent. So be very careful when you think that you can gain something in the short term by undermining your well-being in the long term. Italian independent politician there, Lorenzo Fioramonti.